What's up guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. This here on the YouTube channel is where I'm going to be posting mostly like me working on stuff, you know, and just kind of showing what I'm doing. And then over on TikTok, I'm going to be showing just kind of some fun stuff and maybe a little bit of what I'm doing, but it's mostly going to be fun entertainment kind of stuff. And then Instagram, I don't really post there a whole lot, but that's that's mostly just where I'm going to post a couple photos every now and then. So if you don't really like a whole lot of content flooding your inbox, that that's a really good option if you like using that platform. Today we're just going to do some uh, fun stuff. We're going to install my new steering wheel I've got. My friend Austin, um, he's coming. He's actually got one of the parts I need for that. Uh, it's a it's the airbag cover because they changed the size between the steering wheels. So I've got to do some stuff with that. But yeah, and then we, we've also got, um, let me show you real quick. Uh, I got him a set of these taillights for his Infiniti M45. And these, these are really cool. Uh, it's all individual LEDs in there and all that cool stuff. So that should be pretty cool. We've got a few other things we want to do. He, he bought me a couple other really cool parts. He's, he's at a Harry's right now. Uh, pulling some parts. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on taking the steering wheel off that way when he gets here I can just kind of go ahead and get it done real quick. All right, so to get this done We're gonna have to disconnect the battery let it discharge make sure that uh, the system doesn't have any energy left in it And so we, we just got to make sure it's fully discharged that way we don't set it off by accident uh, that kind of suck having an airbag go off when you're just trying to work on it uh, so uh. all right so we got the, uh, the airbag off of the original steering wheel so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of disconnect all this stuff. I've, you can see I've already disconnected the airbag. So all this extra stuff has to come off. And then afterwards I can take this bolt, uh, this nut off, and just kind of get the steering wheel off. I've taken it off already just to find out that I needed the other sized airbag. All right, so we're all good to go here uh, for when Austin gets here so that I can... Oh. It's all falling apart so I can get this steering wheel on. I'm not sure how well you can see But it's got some of that really nice wood grain going on with it. It'll match uh... So that'll wind up matching uh, these really nicely So that'll be pretty cool Might be able to see that a little bit better now. I don't know. It's not focusing. Well, that's kind of focused. You get the idea. So that should be pretty nice when it's all said and done. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to replace uh, this the rubber seal that that goes in this window right here. Um, I was a dumbass and I cut it because I, I had to pull it up to get behind a panel and I wasn't able to get it to seat properly again. Alright, just like that we got this guy out, so when Austin gets here, uh, we'll be able to just kind of stick the new one in there and just be good to go. And, I mean, there's no point in me just sitting around doing nothing waiting. Austin just got here with his uh, M45, it's an M45, right? Yep. Yeah. Y34 body code. This thing's pretty freaking cool, it's got a V8 in it, somehow. You know, it looks... Yeah, I mean it's got a pretty, it's got a good hood on it. 
Well, I mean, that's one of those things that you don't you don't freaking expect it at all. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, Infinity's marketing campaign back in 2003 and 2004 when they were selling these new mm -hmm. was like a muscle car for the boomers. Right. And it kind of fits the bill on that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, it, 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 kind, it handles like, it's got the same rear suspension as a 350Z. Mm -hmm. The front suspension is its own thing, but you could swap it out for S14 front end, right. coilovers, uh, lower control arms, etc. But, I mean, it basically drives like a big body sedan. I mean, like... <laughs> so yeah, we've got the new weather strips, or gaskets, whatever you want to call them, for the rear window. Uh, I accidentally got black and kind of forgot to check in with me, but that's fine. I, I didn't even realize myself until afterwards. I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I should have said what color, but... Um, yeah, so those will go in, and then over here we've got some OEM roof uh, crossbars. So that's actually really cool. I always wanted to do OEM because that would look a lot better than any of the cheap uh, aftermarket stuff, and it just, it, it's a lot cleaner on the integration. And we've also got oh, a, a new manifold here that I'm going to polish up. He also picked up some uh, over fenders he found on another Odyssey. I think they're off a 350Z. Yeah, I mean, they, they seem like they might be from a 350Z or something like, like that. The van had 350Z wheels on it. Yeah, so who knows for sure. I, I, I know I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Hey, if it fits. That's yeah, I mean the most I've seen is like the super universal stuff that's just like an arch that flares out. Yeah. So. What the hell's this? What you see in here? So this has LEDs in it. Right. But, like, that's taped. Like somebody, like. Yeah, put, like splice something. Yeah, but I don't get it. Why... What do they splice in? I mean, I mean maybe it's, they could have just... That might be factory. I mean, it has it on that one, too. Yeah. So, I mean... But I know that, yeah, somebody did put LED reverse lights. Now, here's the fun part. I think that's the reverse light right there. Yeah. I haven't really looked at what kind of bulbs fit. Fits in. It's gonna fall out. I'd imagine they'd use all the same bulbs. I don't see why they'd use anything different. Yeah. I'm just gonna change this bulb for the sake of keeping everything. Because I know that these did work. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. These, these are different. Huh. That's weird. Not really, but. Oh, well, before you go ahead and install them, I'll get you some rubbing alcohol. Make sure you don't leave oil on there. On the bulbs? Yeah. No, I don't, give a no. No, I don't care. All right. You know, I put in dozens of bulbs. Never had an issue with oil. I mean, I believe it. I mean, I I've guess it's more I've important never, on, like, your headlights. Yeah, I mean, I've... Even then, I've just never really had a problem with it. Yeah, see, somebody. Yeah, there's some. Somebody's been in there. Or maybe. No, that didn't even come off. Yeah, because they glued it. Right. That's not supposed to be. I mean, I've looked behind here. I think it might have been just a slight, you know, tap bumper. Yeah. So I don't think it's anything major. But I do find it weird that they had these out and they resealed them with that. Yeah. Just, yeah, that, that is peculiar. But I've taken one of these off a junkyard car before and they just disintegrated, so I'm not surprised that that one just disintegrated. Yeah. I mean, this was originally a Texas car, so. I mean, yeah, that, that kind of wears them out yeah. real good. Yeah, if you want to go quick. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I do that too. That looks a lot better. Alright, just testing out the lights here.
Yep. Yep. Uh, it's just the same as that resting. Yep, that's good. That's good. No reverse. Yeah, no reverse. Just see if maybe, that's, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe like they're a five volt bulb or something. Who knows? That'll be the issue, though. Like they, their contacts are good. Well, one thing, yeah, that's what I do sometimes. Is I'll just pull them out to make sure they actually yeah, are they, touching. Let's give it a try. I mean, I wouldn't care if those went. They were super bright, so I don't mind them. Those fit a little bit better. You ready? <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. Okay, first step, good. Alright. Got started. Well, first. You're not going to see an ABS light. All right, that, that works. works. That works. All right, huge shout out to Austin for coming out. Um, I'll drop his Instagram down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Um, he posts there every now and then. It is a really cool car. Uh, he's got some really neat stuff in store. I'm not sure how much I uh, caught for you guys, but anyways, huge shout out to them. And so let's take a look at some of the stuff we got done today. Starting off nice and simple, we've got the, uh, the factory roof rack, the cross beams. Those look really good. I, I'm just happy that I got the actual Honda ones. Is they those just look so much better than any of the really cheap aftermarket ones. They're probably fine. And, and they they just look like they're meant to be there because they are. And then we also got here we we did the steering wheel. We finally got that done. I needed the uh, airbag cover, so. We got that all taken care of and it looks great. I mean, the only way it could look better is if this was also leather, but honestly, I I still can't complain. It's a lot better than the one I had before. And then, let's see, I think, oh, that's right. We also got that new weather strip back here. So now that is actually properly sealed. No more, no more leaking whenever I use the power washer. I mean, it wasn't really that bad of a leak, but you know, whenever I went to wash it at the car wash, I would, I get a little water right there. So I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Real quick, I just want to say thanks for watching. I know I didn't really get much video of the van in this episode. I'll try to get more for the next upload. If you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on my other socials if you want, like I kind of talked about earlier in the video. I'll have those linked down in the description for you guys. Once again, huge thanks. See you all in the next video.